Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our session. This is uh, this topic is on amplifying test automation using Rest Assured. First of all, we would like to thank Analia for uh, giving us this opportunity to present this topic in here, and also thank you everybody to came to listen to our talk. Now we will start with our introduction. Uh, my name is Sashi Kumar. I am working as a development engineer uh, in ABN Amro, and uh, my direct employee is uh, Tata Consultancy Services, which is like a uh, leading consultancy firm across the world. Now, so myself, Nilesh Yorab, I am also a development engineer for Tata Consultancy Service and uh, working for client ABN Amro. So before we uh, go further in the topic, uh, I just want to know who is currently doing like automation testing? Who writes automation script? Nice. nice. And uh, who is currently using Rest Assured? <coughs> oh, I see less numbers. So maybe after this talk, you will be like more encouraged to use Rest Assured. Uh, this session again is like not, uh, I will not uh, go into the standard and guidelines, what should you do, what should not you do for the rest assured. Rather, this is our story that what we have achieved in AB and Ambro for one of our business application, rather very complex business application. Uh, I try to signify is that uh, there are many uh, pieces, components connected to each applic one application and that was coughing, uh, very quite complex to execute and test. So uh, 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 sometime a few months back, we decided to refactor that entire component. And uh, we thought when we are refactoring, it's time to find a new way to test the component because our existing uh, testing manual automation uh, stuff was not very good. We use rest assured and by using rest assured, we could achieve like 95% uh, uh, of uh, saving in testing time efforts. And when you uh, ex can execute your test cases so fast, Obviously, you, you, you are free to make more and more changes. You can do more and more changes, and you can make your code clean. And uh, you can focus on your business idea. And of course, when you have leisure time, then you can also relax. So that was the actually gist of our uh, uh, story. And then uh, before uh, going further on the rest assured, we first, first want to uh, uh, focus on what was our application, why it was so complex to test, and then how our idea came into picture how are we how we decided to move to rest assured so this application is like a, a, a signing application what we call in abn amro uh, this is used to uh, sign all your digital transaction or maybe if you are uh, uh, signing some consent with abn amro like if you are opting for grip app if you know or andmir app there uh, you get option to sign it or accept terms and condition there, there then uh, the, the whole signing flow comes into the picture if you uh, uh, can understand by this picture. If you, whenever you are seeing this, this, these four symbols, where it says sign the order, then that basically this backend system triggers the signing flow of ABN Amro. Now to actually uh, 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 make you understand uh, 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 this whole flow, uh, we have a small uh, video on that, that how the entire signing flow works. And also from the testing perspective, how a tester see this whole signing flow. So we start uh, 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 first login into the internet banking of ABN Amro. This is like uh, our uh, 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 ET environment. So first, uh, let's say we wanted to uh, uh, go and change some, some stuff uh, for my personal like address book. Maybe change the beneficiary name. The name, what I see here is like uh, very uh, fuzzy and I want to rename it to some nice name so I can identify it. So what I will do, I will go and change it to maybe Mike, just to identify. So whenever you are doing this kind of activity, what you do is you create an order, like this is, you're making some change in your application. So you're creating an order, and then you can go to your signing uh, screen, and then you can actually sign the order. So this is the tester actually executing and seeing what is the REST response. So these are our REST services, huh? just for your understanding. So that's why a tester is going into and seeing what are the response that is coming. Now this is a signing screen. This is the second flow. After creating order, you want to sign it, and then you use device and tool or simulator to actually execute the order. So this is our uh, uh, ET environment. So we have some simulator there. We use that for ET purpose, testing purpose. Now when you provide the response, again, your side, uh, order goes for signing, and then the this happens. Signing happens, tester go and verify HTTP response, whether it was OK or not OK. Uh, there was the response, and then we can see the body and all. Uh, maybe I should remove that. Yeah. 
So you can verify whether it is. But this is from the tester, tester point of view, uh, not user supposed to <laughs> do all this stuff. Then uh, our tester is little more uh, active. They are also going to actually verify the logs whether it is coming or not, but that was not part of our scope. Then the uh, next step uh, in, in the testing aspect is that you go and actually uh, verify whatever changes you have done is actually uh, getting reflected or not. So again, we will go to same uh, address book and see whether there is uh, any, any mic present or not. And then we'll search for mic and then mic is there. So that was the whole flow, how the signing module works. You first create a login, then create an order, then sign an order, and then finally you verify the order. So that was just for the uh, understanding purpose how thi this is the talk about that whole signing part. So that was one of the uh, 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 connectors what we discussed that when you are changing anything in address, then you are triggering some uh, signing order and all. So when we started this application uh, long back, it was only connected with payments. Then we moved to say, let's say this is a nice feature and more and more module, like everybody want to have this kind of signing feature. Maybe due to compliance also, uh, government enforces that you must maintain the signing uh, aspect that customer has signed the order on. So sooner or later, more and more applications started using this, com uh, this component as a common signing module. And then uh, within no time, there were like 16 component who is actually consuming the same signing service to sign different, different kind of order. And when you look into the signing application, what actually it is, it is application which is underneath you have a service and then underneath you have a DAO. So all these, the different connectors, you say payment variable and all the different stuff were actually connected to the service module. And there the actually, uh, this is the current architecture what we were having in the signing module. And when this is the actually uh, architecture and also the root of our cause problem. Because whenever you wanted to change anything, we wanted to change anything in the payment module, let's say sooner we want to uh, enhance, uh, add some more feature for the customer. Then you end up testing uh, the signing module and then the, all the connecting module. So this was like a, a component were very interconnected and causing problem for us to making more changes. And a single change was causing more and more time to test it because you have to test unnecessary components and that was the problem. So we will actually focus now on the challenges. So for this component, like this is a signing module and everybody wants to use that for all the different kind of application more and more application coming in, wanted to use signing. So we cannot restrict the frequent changes in this application because <coughs> that was the heart of the signing. The problem was with that, you have 16 connectors and whenever you are making a change, it was taking a lot of time to test the entire flow or complete the uh, integration testing of the signing module. Interdependency between the component was the cause. Then automation coverage, we were uh, using like, uh, uh, UFT and HPLM tool to actually uh, perform the automation. And that was not, uh, frankly say, was not very handy to actually write the test cases and even to execute the test cases. So that was actually maintenance challenges were very high there. And then the automation suit was not like uh, integrated with our, our CICD pipeline. So these were the main uh, challenges uh, we, uh, we faced. And then first of the challenge we want to address, or that was like a quick win for us was to refactor the component. The currently this component was like a peer to peer connection, maybe EJB connection. We wanted to get rid of EJB connection and make more like a rest connection. So what we did as a first action item on this is refactor the component, make a, uh, a common contract and said all the connector to follow the other the contract and make the changes. So this was the first point for us to actually refactor the component. Then we refactored it. We thought, let's decide to have a concise way to test the component or easy way to test the component. So then uh, uh, the journey comes about uh, uh, finding the right solution for a REST endpoint testing. And uh, uh, Nilesh here will explain how we reach to the REST assured point. Yeah. Thanks, Sashi. Uh, so coming to the solution approach. So uh, here we can see there are uh, five uh, uh, different points I have noted here. First is design challenge, and uh, that side you can see the independent testing. So these two things were covered in the refactoring of the code. These two points were already covered beca because when we have refactored the code, we have uh, don't have that much design challenge because that will come uh, every time. So th that we can handle now. The th second thing is independent testing. Now the component is 
uh, segregated. So now we can do the independent testing of every components. Like there were 16 components, as we have already told. So we can do the se separate testing for the, each of the components. So now we don't have to bother that if I, we are going to change in any of the single component, then we have to take care of all the 15 remaining modules. So this was the uh, major country uh, for the uh, code refactoring. Now the Three things, the higher automation coverage, the pipeline integration, and the faster execution. These three were the most uh, prominent things which we were looking for because we don't have that much uh, faster execution through the existing frame framework. We don't have the integration uh, of the existing framework with the pipeline. We were not having that much uh, automation coverage also. So we were looking for these three points where we can fashion our execution where we don't have to bother about uh, the manual intervention like uh, we don't have to uh, maintain anything like uh, separately uh, here we can uh, the the solution which we are looking for like we can maintain everything in one one folder so we don't have to uh, go uh, separately for the test and then we have don't have to bother about where we have written our development code so that was the thing where we are looking for so which can uh, help us to execute uh, our test so uh, fastly so these three things which we are looking for so we came up of the solution uh, that was rest assured. So here, uh, the rest assured, which helps us to fasten our execution of the test uh, uh, scenarios. It helps uh, us to easily integrate with the pipeline. It uh, helps us to increase our automation coverage uh, part also. So that was the one uh, uh, major uh, things that uh, rest, assured, rest assured help us. So now I will come to the picture for what is rest assured. So it's nothing a Java library file, a Java library to test the REST endpoints uh, of the application. So it's, uh, it, uh, it is uh, basically a library file. Uh, so we don't have to bother about uh, the, techn uh, the languages which uh, REST assured support. It's, it, it is independent of the language. It supports domain specific language. It uh, can support Java, it can support .NET, it can support Ruby, so anything it can support. So we don't have to bother that uh, it is specific to one single technology. It is uh, multi-use uh, multi if we can uh, uh, do for from rest assured. So the next point, what it is, it, uh, it is very easily, as our application was mainly for the REST services part, so we were testing mainly uh, HTTP endpoints. So we were looking for the solution where we can find a uh, framework which uh, is easily maintainable and uh, very uh, easy to execute. So rest assured is one of the ma uh, uh, major things which helps us to uh, test this, the endpoints and the behavior driven development. So what we have used, we have used here a Cucumber framework, uh, basically integrated with the rest assured. And uh, what Cucumber framework has done, it, it is basically a Gherkin language uh, we, we used to write and it is very easy to understand for the business uh, uh, analyst also, or the product uh, owner, or the Scrum Master, any development team, uh, other than the developer and the tester. So we thought of that uh, it is good to use, uh, rest assured here. So now the prerequisite. Uh, these are the things which already, as a developer, we uh, have in our systems. Like uh, we have uh, the Maven, the we can use either Eclipse or IntelliJ. We can run it through either JUnit or TestNG. We, uh, we have uh, to install our Cucumber framework. That is the best part, which I have already explained. Now, uh, the I will come to the implementation, how we have uh, implemented in our uh, scenario. So this is the uh, main four things in the rest assured part. Uh, the Cucumber runners, the feature files, the step definition, and the test Java classes. Uh, I will come one by one. So what Cucumber runners used to do? So basically, it drives the execution. Uh, by meaning of this, you can understand that uh, it is the entry point for a test scenario to start execute. So what all we include in Cucumber Runners, we used to define our all step definition part uh, in the uh, uh, Cucumber Runners. We used to glue it. And uh, we used to glue our feature files uh, where we have uh, uh, written our all test scenario outline. We, uh, from here, when uh, we trigger our uh, script, so it will start from the Cucumber Runner. Now the second part is the feature file. What it includes in feature file is uh, it 
it ca it contains all the test scenario outlines though so it uh, contains basically all test cases what you want to execute for a particular functionality so it divides into three uh, different uh, uh, three different parts like uh, given when then uh, so here you will uh, basically define uh, what you want to get that given uh, what what is a prerequisite kind of uh, what you want from the user when when is the action performed what you want to perform the action and the, then the result outcome. So these three things uh, which helps anybody to understand easily. Uh, it is nothing uh, much more complex. So uh, any uh, development team uh, members, we can understand easily that what exactly this test scenario used to tell. So next part our, uh, is step definition. So here we uh, write our all the uh, given when then part. So what actually the functionality has to go through so the this is the test steps part so first what uh, action is uh, the functionality has to uh, do the prerequisite like uh, before testing any functionality you want to create a session it should be in a valid session then you the all, all those things the prerequisite the main uh, annotation part so here we used to annotate uh, anno annotate all the our test scenarios so it is directly linked to the feature file so what we used to provide in the uh, given when then section of the feature file, it is directly glued to the step definition. So uh, what is uh, Cucumber Runner will do? It will go to the feature file. It will see given uh, given is something uh, blah, 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 like a uh, user wants to log in. So that exact line, it will copy to the step definition, and it will search where it is, and then it will start execution from there. So it, step definition will contain all given when then part. So how it has to go step by step. Now. Uh, comes to uh, test Java classes. Here, uh, mainly we use to write our rest assured code, the API calls, the main functionality part, which uh, we have to test. So from step definition, it will, uh, uh, it will directly jump to the Java classes, what it wants, the functions from there, and then it will execute uh, simultaneously. So all these four things uh, uh, is the main part for the rest assured. And, uh, like this, uh, our test execution uh, proceeds. So now what we have done, uh, we have done one more thing that uh, we have integrated these things in the pipeline. So we have Maven Surefire plugin, where uh, it, it goes to the central repository. We, are, we used to maintain our all codes, everything, test data part in the central repository Bitbucket. So it will go there, it will check out all the source code from there, and it will start execution. So all the execution part will take, uh, take care from this side. Now the test data part, we have one uh, uh, repository for where we are uh, maintaining our test data also. So it's uh, uh, very uh, uh, easy for uh, a particular, uh, indi all individuals that they don't have to separate it uh, outside. They can uh, directly uh, yeah, take it from the central repository. So we are maintaining the test data part also. So that Surefire plugin will take test data from the central repository. And whatever the test cases with uh, associated with that test data, it will get executed. And later, we. Uh, uh, we maintain our reports in Jenkins. We have uh, there, and we can download it, and we can see how it uh, performed. So this was all about the implementation, how we have implemented. Now, uh, I think the test approach, uh, Sashi will yes. carry it out, how we have, uh, what was the test approach from our side. Yes, yeah, so thanks, Nilesh. So as a summary, uh, we are using Cucumber as a functional module, and we are using REST Assured to make the API calls. So that's the gist of entire discussion. Now we will see how we used Cucumber and uh, Rest Assured uh, to test our application. This is a simple flow what we are trying to explain. Uh, like we have a digital signing application. Underneath we have service, common service, what we discussed that that is linking entire connectors or 16 odd connectors. Then we are taking one example of bank ID that is one of the connectors. And let's say uh, tomorrow we make some changes in bank ID. Then what happens, we come up with a new version of bank ID and then subsequently you change your service and then subsequently you change your application. Now if you want to test that flow, you will hit, hit the rest endpoint of your application, digital signing module application. But unfortunately you cannot do that because our digital signing application is like protected by the logons or you will get an unauthenticated. So as a testing uh, a point of view, you need to first log in, create a session and then the second point of uh, action should be that you will create a bank ID, like 
like we uh, what we discuss in our video that first you will log in and then you will create a order and then you will sign the order so the second step would be to create a order the third step would be to sign the order and the fourth step should be to verify the order that should be the order of your testing flow now uh, currently we are using uh, uftn alm Th those uh, tools are like the where script are keeping somewhere else and then you maintain script there and then from there you fire it it takes lot of time to actually execute simple scenario and as the test cases are far from your uh, code uh, it's sometimes difficult to maintain them as well so at this time when we refactoring the component we decided not to go by that approach rather uh, keep the test cases as uh, uh, close to our uh, classes java classes so then uh, uh, we uh, directly go for the like rest assured solution what we say that we will keep the uh, uh, test module uh, with the uh, service module only and then from there we will execute all the required step like from there we will create a session and then second we will create the order third would be to sign the order and then fourth to verify the order but if you look closely uh, what it says that all the action it is done at the signing service only and signing is doing login activity signing is doing uh, signing activity or oh sorry signing service is doing the signing activity so that we found is like not very uh, a good practice because tomorrow uh, today we have signing service only which is using log on and signing tomorrow there can be other application who wants to have the login feature and all so for that what we decided to keep the uh, uh, respective uh, uh, test module to test certain component at their side only so if you want to test like login then you'd uh, need to create a test jar at login side and that jar will provide sufficient feature to connect to that uh, login part and similarly for the login application. So this is the entire approach we choose that each and every component who wants to uh, like consume or have a rest assured feature they should write their own given when then kind of situation when they will provide how to connect to their rest endpoints. Uh, we will show uh, I will explain everything uh, why over the demo also that how it works. So let's jump to that. Uh, I will start my IntelliJ. Just one second. Yeah. So uh, f f we will start with three modules. First is like login application where we have created a separate jar to provide the feature of login. Then the second module, signing module, where is a separate test jar for signing the module. And third one where we are from where we are actually consuming it like this kind of situation. Yeah. So let's just let me go through the all the modules first. So I have a uh, uh, buy one login that is the login module if I go to login module let me open it. Yeah. now if you see here uh, login application itself has its own code at the same time we are writing a separate module where it gives the feature to actually login into the application also so all the other module who wants to have a login feature can use this test, test jar to actually connect to the application and if you see here uh, uh, this is a uh, simple application it is uh, following the same rest uh, assured patterns so i can go to one of the application to just show you mm, yeah here if you see here this is the like a uh, rest assured call when you given then you are calling the stuff and then body and when situation so this is this is the part where we are using rest assured so actual uh, making the api calls we are using rest assured so this is the and this is the module will be consumed by all the modules which want to log in into the internet banking site of abn ambro then we have second module again it goes with the same stuff like uh, there is a signing module on, on top of signing module there is a test module which helps you to make a HTTP endpoints connection with the signing module
yeah so here now when we say if you go to the decision class there there it says that it mentions all the steps it needs and all the rest end point calls it needs to perform the signing so the calling module don't have to bother that how the signing works and what should what sequence i should follow to sign it all that feature has to be part of your signing application not to the calling module now let's go to the calling module here we will explain that uh, how a cucumber runners works there we have a test module then uh, in that everything starts with a cucumber runner file here we have mentioned with the cucumber option we have mentioned that what kind of report we want we want report in html format and at the same time there is a glue option available in cucumber what it says that you can glue all the step definition you want to execute let's say uh, 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 if i go to the step definition of this file it says user hit so this is the plain english if i go to resources file there we mention all the feature uh, feature files this is one of the feature file uh, to uh, to be executed from cucumber if you see the scenario it says given user should log in with account number and pass number and this is the given situation then as a user once user is logged in user hits opt in like this is one of the uh, uh, connector modules user set opt in for the sign type this and the third is to verify the order this is the third step to verify the order so what we have seen that how uh, a tester manually execute the order you can actually write the entire stuff in your script format in the file as well but at the same time cucumber needs test data to execute your order if you see here we, uh, in the test data you should all the test data should be coming under here but there is no test data because we don't want it to club our script with the test data because then once you club your test data with a script then it's gone once once it is released then again every time you have to rewrite all the stuff and all so what we do we separate the test data from the script so we keep separate data at uh, uh, maybe you can keep it at central location or wherever you want the idea is that every time you, when you want to execute it actually a script should pick the data from the external source so that you can every time you can monitor maintain that data separately somewhere else and it creates a, a new record or new feature file for you and then start executing the feature file so for for us what we did we uh, uh, wrote some simple uh, uh, you know uh, maven profile uh, stuff and then by that every time when we trigger that we actually creates a feature file so if i go to like i have a nice command available here i will just take that and i will this command actually creates a feature file currently feature file has no records but this one will actually take the feature uh, test data from external source and prepare a feature file for us and this is a maven command we did some uh, customization uh, created a profile to actually perform all this activity sorry yeah so we we actually created this build ra profile to actually uh, create a feature file and then if you so go here earlier we only have the template file which is not having the data but now the feature file is created with the data so you can see that it says that what account number pass number you should use and which endpoint it will hit to actually trigger the uh, test so this is the starting po point point for our cucumber file to actually start executing and then we glued so if you uh, go back to the cucumber runner we glued some step definition file here now step definition file has all the meaning of the text you, what you write in the feature file like uh, what i say is that you just should log into account number this if i search in the feature step definition it will find that oh sorry so it says that here is a definition of that step and then it start with the same stuff it uses the uh, jar what we wrote in the lo uh, logon application and then th that is the first step even after that uh, it first log into the customer and then say customer is logged in this is using that jar what i showed you earlier then the second step is that if 
I go here, the second step is to actually v create an order and sign it. So again, I can go to the same step definition file. These are the simple, simple stuff that a Java developer can understand and can write. So now you can keep your code with the actual Java uh, services, not separately somewhere else where you, your Java developer has to learn some extra language to understand what is written there. So this was very handy when we, we were doing all this stuff because now everybody can actually participate and write all those stuff. So again, the whole whole step goes like create a step in. Again, this is a, a again a, this is a, re, a rest assured endpoint. You can see given this is the API call. We are passing the required information, whatever is given the test data. We are forming the JSON and hitting the services based on the already created session. So the entire uh, we are entire uh, entire integration suite is actually built in here in this feature file, and your uh, application is getting tested on that. And we are using two external third party uh, like not third party jar, but two external jars from logon and signing to achieve that. Now this is the call for the signing module to actually sign the item. So it says that go search for the sign item in the basket and then verify the order. The second one is that. get sign item, uh, verify if it is uh, the whatever item you have created is already there in the basket or not. And then the third step would be to actually go in the step file. This is the third step where it says go and verify it, whether whatever you have done is actually done at the backend side or not. So again, the here uh, again we are calling uh, 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 opt-in. So this is again the rest endpoint. So if you see uh, closely here, this feature file is the uh, uh, is the uh, feature of Cucumber. So Cucumber is pr providing the functionality, and at the last, at the bottom of the chain, we are using REST Assured to make all the API calls. So the the entire integration stuff what we have wrote is like Cucumber plus REST Assured, and with some custom tweaking of providing the uh, test data from external source. Now, uh, as we have the like, once we have the test data uh, feature file available here, you can go and trigger it. Now, uh, this uh, due to this, uh, like we are presenting it here, we have some uh, video for you to actually show what is the result, how it shows. So this is again the same stuff what I showed you. And this is the command to actually execute uh, the uh, uh, feature file from your maven command. It also mentions like which URL you want to hit. So we have given the like ET1 URL to actually execute your order. Now start executing the first order, test case 01. You can see the account number. Now it's creating like a first order. Now it's making a call. And then if I can pause it, you can see it is making a call to direct debit exchange. This is one of the like connectors. When it makes a call, it is like re returning 200. And then based on that, you can actually verify the response, <coughs> the content in the response. Then again, uh, uh, it is making a verify signing. The first step was to like get signing challenge. So once uh, you select the which mode of signing you want to go, like identifier is identifier one is like one of the signing mode you choose. So you choose, then it's uh, verifying with 200, and then verify signing response again, and status code is 200. So step by step, it is executing all the three orders, like one scenario with all the three steps. And at last, you can say that one scenario with three steps, it is passed. So this is the way we have integrated the entire stuff to execute the 
integration testing of the application. And uh, at the same uh, time, uh, when I showed you that uh, Cucumber option there, we mentioned that we need to have a report in HTML5. Oh. I have some report here downloaded. Maybe I can show you that one, yeah. Oh, oh network. That is not coming up here. But Maybe the report file is corrupted. <laughs> so if we proceed further in that discussion. Now, so uh, this is the final solution we have implemented. We have scenarios where uh, it was like a more like a template file. There was no data. And then the test data file uh, uh, where you mentioned the test cases. So uh, I missed that part because I need to show. We have external source that uh, what I was discussing about. There you can mention the test data with the number of annotation you have annotated in the class. So if I go to the component here, you can say I have annotated this test scenario as TC01. So it actually looks for the same test scenario here and then fetch that record and put it in the feature file. So it is actually referring to the that record what you have provided in the Excel sheet. So you can customize your stuff on that way. So this is this is like feature we have uh, 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 customized the solution what Cucumber provides just to support our requirement. So then we have a scenario file which is like kind of template only and then uh, test data where like that is your uh, we put it somewhere in repository so that you can maintain it for different different component. That prepares your feature file and the feature file has like a step definition like Cucumber uh, we glue uh, some step definition with Cucumber and the test jar like supporting a uh, common modules that in turn uh, provides the entire uh, integration uh, script for us and then we triggers the uh, http uh, rest endpoints and generate the report so that's the summary of our solution then uh, that was one of the example we sh uh, i showed you uh, there are like more than uh, 16 applications 16 uh, connectors actually for which we wanted to accomplish this task and we started with that journey uh, in turn if you this the entire stuff that for a single sign item you have to perform like three to four steps so that entire process was very complex and uh, prior to this uh, implementation it was like 26 days for a single resource to achieve the entire testing so after doing whole automation stuff now it is reduced to two hours you haven't uh, uh, scripted everything. You can only provide the uh, test data file. And then if you have a right kind of test data available, you can trigger the script and it executes in like within two hour. Not it, it takes me mostly at 10 to 15 minutes, like two hours is to gather the data and actually verify the reports. So that's the like uh, 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 amount of saving we are doing here once we are using rest assured for our application. And uh, next one, the key benefit, what we saw with the entire exercise is that, uh, first of all, it is very easy to integrate with your CI/CD pipeline. So it, you can pro uh, build a custom profile and then you can club with your pipeline. And then uh, no, you don't need any extra skill to actually write all, all the, everything is Java only you need to. For us, we just created separate module. Maybe for you, you can have your own kind of solution, but that suits us because we have like, for a single, uh, till now we only see that you people are using rest assured for their single component testing and all. But our situation was like, it was every, most of the components are interconnected how we can test it. So this was our custom solution for the rest assured. Because test script is part of your code or kind of part of uh, your repository only, so you can easily maintain it, you understand it. You can version the data, version the test script even as it is part of your course. Faster execution, oh, sorry. Faster ex execution on top, uh, faster execution, what we are saying is because earlier we are using a tool which was like in, taking longer time to run our scripts and all. It has like HTML reporting feature, open source of course, and independent of platform means you don't have to do any kind of setting. If you have Maven, you can good to go. You can run on your local machine, you can run your, you can use pipeline. So that was the benefit we saw here and that's the whole uh, change we made in ABA and AMRO using rest assured. So that's it from our side. If you have any questions, please. Yeah. 
No? No, thank you. Thank you.